Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2023 video tutorial. It's a follow-up to the last one, uh, now a more advanced stand. It's again kind of easy to do, because the sweep command has some very nice options in SolidWorks. So let's have fun with SolidWorks. Before we proceed, please like and subscribe. That would really help. You could also watch my LinkedIn learning video trainings for SolidWorks, Simpson X, Cartier and Onshape. So let's begin with a 3D spline. So I need a 3D sketch and I need a spline which maybe starts right here then goes up like this, maybe like that. Rotate it a little bit and then go like that, that should do. Add one dimension in order to scale it. So maybe from this point to that point, it should be, let's go for, yeah, let's say 200, that should do. Leave that sketch. Now I need a plane normal to that curve in that point. So go to your reference geometry, go to plane, select the curve and the point which should give you that wanted plane. Now a sketch on that plane. So select it, go for a sketch. And sorry, you should make sure with the plane, I forgot that the origins should be put on the curve. Okay, now let's go for the sketch. I want to go for polygon. I want to go for a hexagon. So where are my polygons? There you go, polygon. And six-sided, yes, in cubed circle. Now a circumscribed circle should do. And that might look something like this here. Add one constraint like that and of course a dimension and I want to go for let's say 10 millimeter. Okay, leave that sketch. Now our first sweep, maybe hide that plane and this should be a surface sweep so go for a swept surface go for that profile here so select that sketch here this one and that would be the path and we want to twist it along that curve so we got options we have a twist and i want to go for a specific twist value and i want to twist it let's say Let's go for 1800 degrees and take a look. Confirm. Yeah, this looks okay. Great. I will need another surface sweep the other way around. So let's bring back that sketch and go for another surface sweep. Again select the same sketch as profile, the same sketch as path and same twist. So go to options, minimum twist no, so go for the specific twist value again 1800 but now the other way around and it should be a new solid so make sure there is no no there isn't and confirm so now we've got two solids oh, not solid surface bodies and now i want to extract 
the edges and I want to do composite curves. So let's go to our curve tool, go for composite curve, select the first edge, confirm, next one, second, confirm, another one, this one, You need to do it six times. One, two, three, four, five, and another one, the last one should be this edge here and confirm. Maybe hide this and check if we have all the curves here. Yeah. That's great. Now we have to go for the other one. Maybe hide those, at least for the moment. And do composite curves with these edges. So go for composite curve. First one. second one, third, fourth, the fifth, and the sixth and last one. That's this one. And confirm. Hide that surface sweep. Great. Let's zoom to fit. OK. I want to show you the method for only two of those composite curves. And you will have to do the other ones on your own. And I will stop the recording after the first two and start it again if I've done all of them. So let's hide first all of these and show this one. And I want to use this one and the opposite one. Let's take a look. Not this one, not that one, this one, that one, this one. So that should it be? Yes, those two. Let's make them both visible. Now I want to go for a swap of space and it should be a circular one and I want to go for let's say diameter of 0 0.5 and select this one first. Yeah, maybe go for one millimeter because it's better visible and you might use an expression or a parameter for this one. So let's confirm this. Second one. Again, a swept boss face. Again, a circular one. Let's go for one millimeter. Make sure Yeah, select the path and I don't want to merge it. I will combine them later on. Let's take a look. This looks really good. And maybe two more. So let's go for hide this one here. Hide that one. Go for the second one. That's this curve here. And the opposing one is that one here. And again, two swept pause spaces. Again, circular, go for one millimeter, select the first one. Make sure it's not merged. Should be 
like this and confirm and another one circular one millimeter and this one here as path and again not merged and confirm so i will do the other ones and then we'll proceed with my recording okay i've done all those sweeps now i want to combine always two of those sweeps why yeah because of calculation time and in order to proceed in a more structured way so let's go for combine and i want to combine the bodies so let's go to the bodies and that would be sweep one sweep two add confirm then another combine sweep three sweep four another combine five six another combine seven eight another combine nine ten and the last one with eleven and twelve let's take a look I've paired always those two which originate in the same point great now I will need another sweep and surface sweep because I want to cut this and I will combine them afterwards because this will take the longest time to calculate. Now I need another circular swept. Therefore we need this 3D sketch. So go for a surface swept. Swept surface. And it should be a circle profile. And I want to go with a diameter of 10 millimeter. So the curve would be the 3D sketch right here, this one, which should give me a surface right here. I want to extend that surface. So go to extend surface on one end and the other one as well. Okay, on this edge as well. Confirm. And again, I want to make it in steps. So we need that surface not only once, but I need it six times because I made six pairs. You could reduce this, but it takes a really long time to calculate. That's the problem. So, where is it? I want to need, I want to uh, make five copies of this with offset surface. So go for an offset surface and the offset should be zero, which gives me a copy. Then another one, again, an offset surface from this one here, again, offset zero. Another one, so this one should be offset. Again, once more, and now I've got five. I need a last one, a sixth one, and confirm. Now we have to thicken those six surfaces. So go for a thicken both sides, go for a value of 0 0.2 millimeter and make sure you don't want to match the results. So let's 
check the surface bodies that's the first one confirm same thickness don't merge another one don't merge that's the most important thing don't merge because this will really take a very long time and the last one okay and now i want to intersect one combine with one thicken again you have to do it six times and i will do it with, with one stop the recording and start the recording after i've done it to all six of them okay now i want to intersect one combine with one thicken. Therefore I want to hide the other five for the moment. So hide those five here and hide those five thicken solids. And I want to intersect that combine with that thicken. So go for com intersect, not combine, and select the combine and a thicken. I want to create the intersection regions, that's okay. Let's go for intersect. This will take a while. If you do it all at once, it will take a very long time. And I want to keep one region, not this one, but the region under this one. So I select this one, that's region 12. And I want to keep this here and deselect region 12 and invert selection which will leave you with the wanted region and let's confirm this will take again a little while and this you have to do six times in all and again i will stop the recording and proceed with the recording after i've done all those intersections okay i've done all those intersections and now i've got six solids and the last step would be now to combine them and this will really really take a very long time so i will leave that up to you so i hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help you could also watch my linkedin learning video trainings for solidworks in the next cat and on shape you could follow me also on grabcat instagram facebook twitter or x and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye